Look at that! That's what I was grabbing the whole time. I was wishing for an apple. Eat healthy, kids. Hello. Welcome. Look, like I'm on Wheel of Fortune. But I'm not. Welcome to, welcome to my channel. Subscribers, thank you for coming back. You guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you take the time to watch this video. Um, and if you do, thank you for taking that time, because you could be doing 15 billion other awesome things instead of watching me ramble about sneakers that I know very little about. I have a Soul Supremacy Beater Box at $450. I haven't gotten this kind of price range in a, in a while. Anything under $500, it's been, it's been quite a while, so this could go either way. I'm really interested to see how, how it happens. So this just got delivered like 10 minutes ago, so let's let's see what's in here. Um, say it every video, but if you don't know who Soul Supremacy is, it's a shop in the Bay Area of California that uh, they deal with used, new, anything to do with shoes. Um, they're the best in the country in my opinion. They have incredibly high volume, so the fact that they are so about the community and, and the people that deal with them is remarkable. They're they're doing business the right way, we'll put it that way. Check them out, their link and their eBay are uh, gonna be on your screen in a second here. So, so far this is, oh wow, I have Lucy's in here. Um, so there are two pairs of Lucy's in here. I'm gonna grab this one out. These are size nine copper foams. Um, they are not that stock used, one on the bottom, but they're, I mean, the upper quick glance looks like there's no imperfections. Looks great. Uh, just used without a uh, without a box. There's even you can see swoosh air in there still hanging out. What year is this? This is probably the 2000, 2016 release. Yeah, these are the newer releases. So it's too new to be in bad shape. The other one looks high pancake. Did you hear that? Pancake. The other shoe's in just as good a shape too. So really good shape. Foam posits, uh, coppers. So that's good without a box. People say foams are dead. I disagree. Looks like I got a pair of Rowan Roshis. They are gray and salmon colored. They are worn. They're not gross. I will say that, but they're definitely worn. So cheap running shoes right here. The size of these sons of guns. If I could find the size tag, that would be awesome. There is size tag. There it is. It's size 11. So it's like a flyknit row shoe or something like that. It's in good shape. I mean, if you need a cheap running shoe, let me know. So check it out. And as always, all this stuff's going to be for sale. You can contact me via the email or via other things if you're interested in any of this stuff. So uh, here is a size 10. We're getting to the shoes with the boxes now. Size 10 Hyperfuse 2011 Player Edition. Player is this. I don't know. It's probably someone from the Celtics. Uh, these are actually really cool though. The number nine on uh, maybe the Celtics. I forget. I'm a Cav fan. I don't know other people, but yeah, this is the right box size ten. This is a really cool shoe. It doesn't smell goofy. It's just a ballin' shoe. If you're a fan of Boston teams, then this is a really cool shoe. These are about a nine out of ten condition-wise too. I mean, they feel stiff. They feel like they've been barely worn. But yeah, these are in really good shape. Just some wear on the bottoms. No scratches or scuffs really that can't be buffed out. Just a little clean up and these will be good to go. So there's those, size 10, Hyperfuse, 2011 Player Edition. Number nine on the Celtics, I would assume. Don't know who that is though. So another orange Nike box. I have a Nike Zoom BB2. Big baller. These are actually pretty cool. Pretty worn, you know, big amount of toe box greasing. Uh, but yeah, here's these. Really good shape. Don't know what you'd use them for. Besides putting them on your feet, pretty worn inside, you can see that. So these these will definitely be going cheap. But yeah, all the shoes in just as good a shape. No funky smell, nothing like that. They've just been worn, so what does it say on the bottom? Oh, Zoom. I'm like, what is Eon? Because <laughs> I can read sideways. Um, so again, Nike Zoom, size 10. Pancake, what you doing? Hanging out. Pancake's going to say what's up. She's like, hey, right there. She's leaving now. So, another orange box, size 10 Nike Hyperize. Never even heard of this. These are really cool. These are not dead stock, but they're very close. These look like Kobe, uh, these look like Kobe 4s a little bit. I'm in the blinkity blink blink zone. Watch your language, shoe. But the, I don't know if you can see the soles, but they kind of, they look really cool. I don't know, this is even kind of 
try and see them here. But it's like, I don't know, kind of almost looks like tie-dye maybe? Yeah, these are really cool. These are really lightweight, so these are probably really good basketball shoes. These are in really good shape. Awesome. Other shoes in good shape. No funky smell, nothing. Even got these crazy laces. Um, so that's a size 10 Hyperize. I don't know what that is, so let's see, what's this here? I have a Zoom LeBron 3. It's got the LBJ King on there, King Lion, whatever thing. These are worn. Um, these are about an 8 out of 10 condition just by looking at them. The laces are in poor shape, I'll tell you that. So I just need some new laces. It's about an 8 out of 10. No crazy mess ups or anything. They've just been worn. Other two just as good. I don't know the names of these. I've never gotten a pair of LeBron 3s. They're kind of weird looking, but uh, this is a size. 10 again, so I'm going to check that out. Got the line on the tongue. So, pretty cool shoe. I don't know the value on these. I'll probably let them go for cheap. So, I have three left. There's an Air Jordan 1, a size 9.5. I think this is a pair of Royals. And I was right, but they're worn barely. So, yeah, someone got Royals, wore them a couple times, and then traded them in. But, uh, yeah, these are in really good shape. So if you're looking for Royals on the cheap that are barely worn, I got you. Lace bag is big. Lace bag is still here too, so that's good. But yeah, these are these are solid nine out of ten for Royals. So paper's a little messed up, but yeah. So I got let's see two more in here. Oops. I got a countdown pack. Well, this is a size nine. Collision. It's an 18 and a five. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be 18 because the five is actually worth a pretty good amount. So, no, this is the five. Ooh, buddy. And these are dead stock. I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, CDP5s from 2008 in dead stock condition. This is a really good shoe. This is a good get. You can see the discoloration from being a nine-year-old shoe. But yeah, these are, ooh, this is a good shoe. Pretty pumped on this. So, size nine, CDP, the fives. Kind of glad I got that. Um, and then after that, I have one more. It's a LeBron, Air Max LeBron 7. Ooh, these are really cool. These are worn, but these are in really good shape too. These are in way better shape than those other LeBrons. I had a pair of the CTKs a while ago that were dead stock, and those those weren't look a pretty good amount of money. So these sevens are really nice. This is a this is a pretty slick colorway too. Again, this is a size nine and a half Air Max LeBron Air Max LeBron seven in very near dead stock condition. So that's the box. You know what happens when I'm done with the box? It's time for the SB Mitch Report Card. Yeah. <laughs> So I grade the boxes based on two categories. There's condition and then hype slash value, which I think are kind of the same thing. Jumping right in, so there's one pair of dead stock shoes. These Royals are in really decent shape. Those Air Max, the Bronze 7s are in decent shape. Full Basels are in great shape. Everything else is in pretty decent shape except those Roshis and those uh, LeBron 3s. So as far as condition goes, I'd say this is a B minus. So as far as value and hype goes, the fives have the most value in this box in my opinion. The Royals have pretty good value. The Air Max LeBron 7s have pretty good value as far as I know. And the foam posits have pretty good value. A lot of people don't think foam posits have value anymore, but I, I disagree. The Roshis, the three orange box, the Hyperize, the Zoom BB, and the, and the other one, I didn't want to get into it. And the, and the LeBron three, unless the three has some good value, I don't see much value in half of the box. So with that being said, the value on this box is about a C. So that gives the box overall, what I say? B minus and then C. So about a C plus. You know, it's a decent box. I'll definitely be able to make my money back. But then again, this is also before researching. So I could be way wrong. I'm wrong a lot, so I don't mind. We give this $450 Soul Supremacy Beater Box a grade of C plus. And this has been the third installment of the SB Mitch Report Card. <laughs> So that's the box and essentially that's the video because what else would I have for you unless you guys want to watch Pancake just lay down next to a bunch of shoe boxes. I do, but I'm also insane. Subscribers, thank you. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching these. Um, if you're not a subscriber, if you want to subscribe, awesome. If you don't, that's totally fine. I would love to hear your feedback from both subscribers and non-subscribers. Um, you know, what you want to see on the channel, what you think of what I'm doing, or if you think this is completely whack, that's that's cool. I have no problem with that. As long as you're, as long as you're giving me feedback in a constructive manner, we're good. So that's it. I'll have another video for you guys very soon. Giveaways coming up, and then I, uh, just like my last video, I said there's some big, 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 big news coming up. Be on the lookout for that. So yeah, thank you, Soul Supremacy. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, viewer. And uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And remember, they're just shoes.
what's on their feed is not important. Get at me through my email if you need to. Follow me on Twitter. Do what you gotta do if you wanna say hi. I will say hi back. See you later.